okay now the movement of protein on the polyacrylamide gel depends on four factors that is one is the molecular weight of the protein the second is the molecular radius of the protein and third is the net charge of the protein and the fourth is the applied current applied applied current so in hds page we basically separate proteins only according to their molecular weight so and uh, throughout the process we um, use a particular amount of current so in this process we have to nullify these two factors okay nullify these two factors and this is done by sds okay suppose suppose this is a native structure of protein native structure of protein and we use SDS remember SDS is a reducing agent which disrupt the tertiary structure of protein but it cannot remove the disulfide bonds so to fully disrupt the tertiary structure of protein we also have to add beta mercaptoethanol okay which is which can disrupt the disulfide bond so now the protein so now protein is linearized and so the molecular radius of all proteins are the same so this factor is nullified and the second is this the sds has another function that is sds can coat the protein the whole protein as a negatively charged because sds is negatively charged okay like this Okay, now the net charge of protein is negative. Okay, so all the protein are present in the agar uh, in the polyacrylate gel is in its negative charge. Okay, so these two factors are nullified, and this is the whole function of SDS.